from the students in today's video we are going to learn discuss about converting between 12 hour and 24 hour clock in the lesson we are going to learn about these two subtopics let's just move forward with few more questions you can please pause the video and try these questions and once when you are done with it you can resume it to check your answer well pat your back for your great efforts now let us move forward with discussing conversion of 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock. For that we do have rule number 1 that is for first hour of the day from 12 midnight to 12.59 am we need to subtract 12 hours. That is writing 12.59 am in 24 hour clock would be simply as 00, 0 and 59. Removing am from that rule number 2 from 1 a.m. to 12.59 p.m. that is in the afternoon no change except to take off a.m. or p.m. and make sure time is written in four digits 12.54 p.m. in 24 hour clock be written as 12.54 similarly for 3.58 a.m. we need to put the zero before the three and need to write as 03.58 removing a.m. from it now 12.59 p.m. will be written as 12.59 removing pm from that let us move forward discussing the third rule that is from 1 pm to 11:59 pm add 12 to the r and take off the pm 2 pm according to 12 hour clock be written as 2 at 12 that is 14 according to 24 hour clock now similar we have to do for 10:49 pm we need to add 12 to 10 we get 22 and that be written as 22:49. Same goes with 11:59 p.m. We need to add 12 to 11. We get 23, and that to be written as 23:59. We need not to write a.m. or p.m. when we write in the 24-hour clock. Now let us discuss converting 24-hour clock to 12-hour clock. For that, we do have rule number one that says for first hour of day from midnight. 0059 we need to add 12 hours and write down am with it 003 be written as 1203 am and similar goes for 00449 that be written as 1249 am for 0059 we again need to add 12 to it and that be written as 1259 am now rule number two says from 1 to 11.59 no change is done except to add AM and if the first digit is 0 we need to take that off writing down 5.36 according to 12 hour clock we need to write removing the 0 5 then 5.36 we need to write down AM as well same goes for 11.59 we need to write AM when we write in 12 hour clock now we need to convert related to rule number three that is from 12 to 12.59 we just need to add pm with it so 12.05 between as 12.05 pm and similar goes with the remaining times that is 12.49 pm and 12.59 pm let us move forward to discussing rule number four that is from 13.00 to 23.59 we need to subtract 12 from r and add the pm so the time of the afternoon be written as subtracting 12 from it so 20 take away 12 or 20 subtract 12 we get 8 and that is to be written as 8.59 adding pm to it so 23.59 will be written as 23 subtract 12 we get 11 for that we get 11.59 pm now let us discuss about examples of time measurement for discussing examples of time measurement let us say if a train starts from Delhi at 11 in the morning and reach Agra in at half past 2 in the afternoon how much time did it took to complete the journey so let us say let us discuss the question for time measurement on a number line for that we need to know what is half past 2 in the afternoon that we know that we need to add 12 to 2 we get 14.30 according to the 24 hour clock so 11 in the morning let's just write that here 
and we need to go till 14.30. So for that we know that adding 1 out to 11 we get 12 so let's just write 12 there adding one more uh, more to it we get to 1 o'clock in the afternoon so let's just write 13 for it adding one hour more we get to 14 so add one hour more to it we get 14 now we are just like with 30 more minutes and for that we need to add 30 more minutes to our timeline and write down 14 30 over it so that's time to add how much time we have traveled from Delhi to Agra that is one hour that's one hour that's one hour and the remaining 30 minutes the total we get that to be as 3 hours and 30 minutes now let's just move forward we're discussing another example related to time measurement sometimes we need to add or subtract times in various situation let us see this example that is 4 hour 30 minutes take away or subtract 1 hour 45 minutes let's just take another number line for it in this question we need to go back or subtract 1 hour 45 minutes from 4 hours 30 minutes in this case let's just say let's just take away 1 hour from 4 hour 30 minutes we get 3 hour 30 minutes let's just write hour and minutes with the times now let's just say we only have to subtract 45 more minutes from the time given when we take away 45 more minutes we can split it into 30 minutes and 15 minutes so when we have take away 30 minutes from it let's just say we get 3 hour and now we need to take away 15 more minutes from it so we get 2 hours and 45 minutes so the final answer we get is 2 hours and 45 minutes now we have some practice questions related to it you can please pause the video and try them and once when you are done with it you can please resume it to check your answers well congratulations for your great efforts and thank you so much for watching this video for more you can please log into justtutors.com